Hey, man. You got something to eat up in there? We hungry. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my review-ish of Too Fast, Too Furious from 2003. Um, throughout this video, I'm just going to be um, comparing this one to the original just because I feel like that's the best way to get, like, my opinions across, like, my points of what made this good, you know, so just heads up to that. Uh, I definitely like this more than the original, and one reason for that is it felt more focused, like it knew what it was, it knew what it wanted to do. The original felt really all over the place. Like, I don't know, and maybe that's just me. I have a hard time, I guess I have a hard time following these kinds of movies, because, like in the original, I was super confused what was going on half the time, and this one I was, kind of, but I understood it a lot more. Uh, Cinematography-wise and editing, that's something I commented on in the last one. This one was just way better. It didn't seem really weird and out there, you know? <laughs> uh, like, with its editing choices, the all the lighting looked normal. It didn't look like it was inside of a microwave. I know that's a weird thing to be complimenting it for, but, you know. I just liked, I also liked the, um, the characters in this one more. I felt like... I guess because of the smaller cast. Like, technically, it still had like about the same size cast as the original, but they just focused more on mainly the four. You know, you got Paul Walker, um, the guy who went to prison. I can't ever remember these people's names. The chick and then the villain. Like, those are basically the four you had to keep up with. And then you have ones that, you know, are important to the story, but you don't have to keep up with, like, the police chief guy, the head officer dude, and all that. Um, it felt shorter too. Technically, this movie is longer, but it felt so much shorter. Which, like, it still felt long, but not as bad as the original. I don't know how they managed that. But the movie just seemed more straightforward, streamlined, like it knew what it wanted to do. And I liked it more because of that, you know? Like I said, maybe it's because the characters were, you know, less. And it, in the early, in the first one, it felt like plot points ended and they started new plot points. Kind of like two movies in one kind of deal in this one you know it was like i said straightforward it had boom 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 plot point plot point all on the same plot i like i said i like the characters more the chemistry between them all was fun the guy who who went to prison i hope he stays you know the black guy i hope he stays in the movies because he's not like a new favorite character or anything but i definitely liked him i liked what he brought um the the first one just felt like a lot of the characters just felt like the exact same you know, any of their lines can be switched out other than Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, you know? Vin Diesel isn't even in this one, so that's kind of interesting. But, you know, I still had a lot more fun with this. Uh, and that's kind of the thing about a movie you're more positive with is that you have less... I feel like you have less to say about it, which is why this video is probably going to end up shorter than the original. And I probably talked more about the original in this one than I did the actual Too Fast, Too Furious. But now, here's my list right now, obvious... Too Fast, Too Furious is number one. The Fast and the Furious is number two. I get the irony. But, um, but no, this movie definitely intrigued me, you know, to look forward to these movies. You know, I, like I said, I wasn't ever looking forward to watching these. The first one just kind of was like, okay, it's a car racing film. Cool. This one, you know, had more to it. It definitely leaned more heavy into the whole, I guess you could say cops and robbers kind of aspect of it, which was fun that's fun sometimes um the first one took itself really seriously and this one did that mix where it's like it no it, not that it knows it's dumb but it's taking itself the right level serious from what i understand the later movies get like they know they're dumb and they just roll with it um but i think there's some point in the middle there where they are dumb and they don't realize it so i don't know this movie got me interested in the future of fast and furious i'm like actually interested in continuing on next is tokyo drift um, I hear that's a really good one. Oh, yeah. Next is Tokyo Drift. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I hear that's a really good one. I think it's like a prequel or something like that. I don't know. So, I'm interested. Apparently, a lot of people like Tokyo Drift. So, I liked this movie a lot. You know, I don't know the consensus of, like, the fans of what their opinions are. But, you know, this was a good movie. Good, good movie. Um, I'm looking forward to the future. Video over. Thank you for watching. Yeah, cool. Video.